how is it to go? Well, night out there, everybody. This is Jordan Jones. I'm welcoming you back to the Republic of Jordan. In Super Mario, in my playthrough of Super Mario Galaxy 2 for the Nintendo Wii. If you guys did a huge favor and drop a like on this video, we really appreciate that. Um, now, we're going to be doing one of the water levels. And I'll keep it surprised what it is. I'll ask you guys this for question of the video. Do you like water levels? Yes or no? If yes, what is your favorite water level and why? I absolutely love water levels so much. And I love any kind of water level, but I'll talk about what my favorite water levels are in just a second. Because I absolutely love water levels. And we're going to do one right now. And the water level we're going to do is this right here. Cosmic Cove Galaxy. This is my favorite galaxy in the game. I have to say this. My all-time favorite. This has to be my favorite galaxy. This has to be my favorite water level of all Mario games. This right here. Now, of course, other ones I like are Noki Bay from Super Mario Sunshine. Also, I also really like Drip Drop Galaxy from Super Mario, from the original Super Mario Galaxy game. And I also really like Seaside Kingdom from Super Mario Odyssey. I also really like Sparkling Waters from New Super Mario Bros. U. Even though I don't really like the water levels in 2D Mario games hardly as much as I do the ones in 3D, because I love the water levels in 3D Mario games, because they're amazing, so. Look how amazing this level is. You can just explore it a lot. Like, I love this. this is my favorite galaxy in the game. Definitely. You just have to do this. Dodge those guys. And then the comet metal is over here. Look how pretty this is. It's beautiful. Like, this is my favorite galaxy ever in the game. Ever. And so, I absolutely love water levels so much. Just let me know in the comments below for question of the video. What is your... Do you like water levels? Yes or no? If yes, what what is your favorite and least favorite water level? I would love to know in the comments below. Mm -hmm. We're kind of talking about my least favorite water level as well. My least favorite probably has to be... Probably. Um, I'm not even. Probably swing for your life from New Super Mario Bros. here, because that one stinks. That might be my least favorite water level. It might be the Swing Free Life from New Super Mario Bros. U. My favorite, you know, is this. Cosmic Cove Galaxy from this game. Along with, like, Noki Bay from Super Mario Sunshine. And I love Seaside Kingdom from Super Mario Odyssey. I also love... Okay, we can skate since we turn the water into ice. This is a very unique galaxy. It just has some chill, laid-back music. That's what I really like about Cosmic Cove Galaxy. Alright. So we might can we might can get to I don't even know how many starbits we need to feed to the hunger lemma. I mean I mean not starbits, I mean coins. I'm so used to saying starbits from the first galaxy game! <laughs> Forgive me. I don't even know how many you have to feed. Because I want to do the Hunger Luma mission and knock it out of the way. We'll see what this one needs. 15. And we have 18 coins. I 
and, and this is this this is a, a reference to the first Super Mario Galaxy game. The Superstar here will reference the first Super Mario Galaxy game. A new planet was born. <clears throat> Alright, so this, I have to say, is the only, it, that I can think of, rapid mission in Super Mario Galaxy 2 where you have to chase a bunny. And it's a cakewalk, and it's so easy, you just gotta do that. And backflip. That was easy. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do the mandatory first star of it. We already grabbed the comet medal, so we're set on that. We're set on the comet medal. And we already got the secret star, and, and all we need to get is just the first mandatory star. And we know that's the, the easiest star of this galaxy. This is actually, in my opinion, the easiest star to get. Alright, so we need to do this. Get our star bits like we usually do in this area. I don't think anything tops how amazing the galaxy games are. Nothing tops. It's so magical, so awesome. I like you can look at it. I was trying to get more star bits that way, but it's okay. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. We don't care about how many star bits we collect in this level, because we already have a lot. Those MLG Pro straps right here! So we can actually start skating if we do this. And there we go. And back. I was trying to backflip. I was gonna do my backflip and my wall jumping like I always do. And I wanna backflip and spin and spin this again. It's a beautiful power star. Look how beautiful the sky is. Like, look at this. Isn't this awesome? I'll be laying back and staring at this all day. I want to skate on this ice all day. Just before it turns into ice, I want to swim in that all day. There we go! <laughs> we have one more star left for what we can do in Cosmic Cove Galaxy. Which is my all time favorite galaxy of this game. And we have plenty of time to do it. So we're gonna go ahead and knock it out of the way now. Exploring the Cosmic Cavern. I love this level. This level is probably, it's a really fun level. Uh, this level reminds me of when I go to the aquariums and stuff, when I go to aquariums and look at fish. This level's so relaxing, like it's awesome. I can't stress enough how amazing, I can't stress enough how amazing this game is, how amazing Galaxy is. This game and Galaxy are the two best. Yeah, the Galaxy games, which are 
This game, the one I'm playing right now, Galaxy 2, and Galaxy 1 are the two best Wii games that any, that you can have. They're, they're so magical with the level designs. Like, I love the level designs here. Like, it's so awesome. Like, compare every Mario game. Now, all 30 Mario games stick to cool platforming where they're very similar, but also very different. I can compare Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, Super Mario Galaxy, Super Mario Galaxy 2, Super Mario 3D Land, Super Mario 3D World, Super Mario Odyssey, and Bowser's Fury all together. All sit to core plat of 3D platforming, where they're all similar, but very different. I love that. All are very unique to one another, where they're similar to that to core platforming, but they're very different too. Like, let's say, you see Mario 64, you have a hub area of Peach's Castle, and in Mario Sunshine, you have a base around Dolphino Plaza, and I love Flood and Mario Sunshine, and the Galaxy games take advantage of the gravity mechanics. Of course, I know Mario Odyssey takes advantage of Cappy, of course. I love Mario so much. I love the 30 Mario games. 30 Mario games way better than 2D, definitely. 3D better than 2D. If I recommend any Wii games to you guys, I definitely recommend the two Galaxy games to you guys. So we just, we're just gonna, so this part you just have to be careful while you're swimming through here. It's pretty easy. You just gotta do that. It's pretty easy. So you just gotta do that. It's just the only hard part about this when I come back to get the green stars is what will be tedious here. It's just, it's just whenever I come back to get the green stars. But I'm looking for it, but it'll be fun. Trust me, everything will be fun in this game. Because of course it's 100% playthrough. Because this game is awesome. Such an awesome game, so of course I want to do 100% playthrough of it. You can grab all, let's grab all these star bits out here. Let's grab them all. I'm gonna concentrate. All right, so. We're gonna blast off with you! Those MLG Pro strats! Here's where it requires the spring. The spin drill. I about said spring mushroom, but. <laughs> spring mushroom. Um... I'm glad there's only one level in this game that have to use spring mushroom again, because spring mushroom is a very finicky power up. Like, I mean, it's not super duper finicky, but it, I don't mean it's finicky by the controls. It just takes a little bit to get used to because it keeps bouncing in place over and over again. That's the difficult thing with the Spring Mario. And there we go. MLG Pro Strats and back to it. That's it for Cosmic Cove Galaxy, except for when we go back to get the green stars. Yeah. It's telling us about Penguin that we saw in the Cosmic Cove Galaxy. Alright guys, that's it. Thank you very much for watching guys and have a good one and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.